Hey everybody, Scott here from Camco Manufacturing. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and install your Blackboard Motorized Implement Lift. First, let's go through what's in the box. What's in the box? We got you got your uh, your implement bar, you've got your shank channel, you've got your upper and your lower linkage, you've got your actuator, wiring harness, control grip, and you've got your hardware package. We've got your uh, hitch pin, spring clip, you've got two actuator pins, two actuator spacers, and your linch pins. We've got four bolts, four lock nuts, and we've got eight washers and eight linkage wear plates. You are gonna need some tools. You're gonna need a three quarter inch wrench and socket. And if you have a drill adapter for your socket, that's gonna make life a heck of a lot easier. All right, so let's get started. Let's get this out of the way here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to install the shank channel into our hitch receiver with the hitch pin and the spring clip. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the linkage. Uh, we're going to do the, the lower linkage first. You're going to take your bolt and one of your washers and you're going to get it started on, your, on the lower shank channel and you're going to get one of your linkage wear plates and you're going to you're going to stick it on the end of your bolt because that linkage wear plate is going to go in between the lower linkage and the shank channel. And you run the bolt through the hole in the shank just enough so that you can squeeze another linkage wear plate in between the linkage and the shank channel on the other side. So I'm going to put a washer on there and then we're going to take a lock nut. Just stick it on there hand tight for now. And then we're gonna install the upper linkage. You wanna make sure your actuator mounts are on the same side of the lift itself. You're gonna install it the same way we did the lower linkage. We're gonna need a, a bolt. And we're gonna start out with a washer on there. Get it started. Get a uh, linkage wear plate. And install the upper linkage. Run the bolt through there just enough so that we can get another wear plate in there. There we go. Stick another washer on. Another lock nut, hand tight. Now we're gonna install the implement bar. When we're installing the uh, implement bar, we're gonna do it with the, the bolts and the washers and the lock nuts and the, uh, the linkage wear plates the same way that we installed the linkage onto the shank channel. Uh, we're going to do it the same way with the uh, implement bar. So grab bolt, washer, and get it started on the lower linkage. I'm going to get your get the bolt with the washer on it started in the uh, lower holes on the implement bar, just enough to get a linkage wear plate in there, and kind of walk it in to the lower linkage. Run the bolt through. Get you another linkage wear plate in there on the other side of your lower linkage in between the linkage bar and the implement lift bar. Once you get the bolt through, you're going to get you another washer on there, another lock nut, hand tight. Now we're going to do our upper linkage bar with our remaining bolt and washer. Run the bolt through the linkage. Another wear plate, run it through, washer, lock nut. And now we're gonna tighten each of these down to 70 foot pounds. I'm gonna grab my three quarter inch wrench and my impact driver and tighten these suckers down. Do it. All right, so after that, after we got those tightened down, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the actuator. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, actuator mounting boss, this, that's at the uh, gear motor end of the actuator, and that is going to install on the uh, upper linkage. What we're going to need, we're going to need our actuator pin, we're going to need a spacer, and we're going to need our linch pin. Go ahead and open up the linch pin. And we're gonna get the uh, actuator pin started through the linkage into the spacer. Then the uh, actuator, we're gonna go right through there. 
screw the other side, take your linchpin, and close it off. All right, so the next step is, uh, is installing the ram end of the actuator into the lower linkage. Now, when you, get your, when you open up your Blackboard uh, motorized implement lift box, your actuator is gonna come in a fully compressed uh, position and it's not gonna reach that lower linkage unless you wanna uh, lift the bar up and the actuator and, and try to maneuver that and the pin and the, the spacer and all that um, all at the same time. You could do that or you can extend the actuator ram end by twisting it. I like to take this actuator pin and just spin it around. Spin it around and that'll get it to the length that you want. So you don't have to do any lifting and it makes life a heck of a lot easier. Okay, so now we're gonna take our actuator pin, run it through the lower linkage, then we need our spacer, then through the ram end of the actuator. Then the winch pin, and you're good to go. All right, now we're gonna hook up our uh, actuator by hooking up our wiring harness and our control grip to the battery. All right, so the wiring harness. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect it to the battery. You can connect it directly to your ATV's battery for a permanent installation, or um, if you have a way to uh, secure a battery to uh, your front rack on your ATV or your rear rack um, for a, a temporary installation, you can do it that way as well. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to connect the uh, red ring terminal to the positive terminal on the 12 volt ATV battery, and we're gonna connect the green ring terminal of your wiring harness to the negative terminal on your ATV battery. And so what you got left, you've got, you've got uh, two connections. You've got one with two pins and you've got one with four pins. The two pin is gonna go in the only place where the two pin can go, and that is to the back of the actuator. So it clicks and your four pin connection coming off of your wiring harness is going to go into the four pin connection that is attached to the control grip. Make sure and push it in until it's secure around that little clip. All right, so uh, your control grip powers your lift up and down. It has a Velcro strap so you can attach it to your handlebars. Get snug on there and you're ready to go. And there you have it. We got our Blackboard motorized implement lift assembled and installed. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Camco. Dot net. Dot net. Dot net.